Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. We have a light bar here in the studio today that of course you have seen on Sirenet Television and no doubt in other parts of the web. It is the new Whelan Legacy light bar. Now there's a couple of things that we're going to take a look at in a moment in relation to this light bar, but let me give you a little bit of background behind it. Whelan for a number of years has been working very hard to reduce the size, that's the physical profile of their light bars and have been very successful in doing so. And the Legacy is the next generation of ultra low profile light bar available from Whelan. They've done a really nice job. You will get some technical specifications available on the website, but one of the things that we're going to be doing with this particular bar, because of the complexity in relation to how it is built, you will need to give us a call for pricing. So again, call for pricing, look at the tech specs, and we'll be able to give you information over the phone and, of course, email you pricing once we have figured out exactly what configuration will work the best for you. So let's take a look at the bar. And as you can see here, it is a low profile light bar. I'm going to lift it up a little bit here. Uh, we've got a couple of cameras running today. So uh, we're going to be bringing in uh, Chris, who will be working camera three. But essentially what's going on here is the bar is configured with a six diode and a 12 diode. Now this right here is the 12 diode. And then right down at the end is a six diode variation. Now this current six diode is actually part and parcel of the corner mechanism. Now we're gonna bring Chris in right now and we're gonna take a look at the back of the bar. That'll be a little bit easier because the front of the bar has got 12, but the back of the bar actually has a combination of 12 and six. So the diode here, for example, is a six diode, you can kind of see that there, and that in turn ties in with a six diode that is part of the corner assembly, and the corner assembly itself actually has an additional 12 diodes going off to the, what is my right, as it moves towards the alley light, which is right at the alley portion of where it would be normally in the bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the bar, and right now you can see that, uh, and again, this has been pre-set up, so we kind of have a variety of colors, but this particular bar has got blue in it, it has got red in it, it also has amber to the back, uh, which you can see as well, it's coming on and off, but the modules themselves actually are a duo module in the sense that there is, in this particular case, now it obviously is not turned on right now, but in this particular case, it happens to have white and blue, and this one has white and red, and then at the back, we actually have blue and amber, and over here, red and amber as well. So again, there's a variety of different colors that have been set up in this bar. I'm gonna switch it off for a second. And then up on the front area of the light bar, and I think we can get the close-up camera to zoom in a little bit there. What we have here are three diodes in a deep dish module. Let me turn it this way so they can get a good look at it. And basically, you can either have this as a three or a six configuration. And again, if you have it as a three, you'll have it more or less what you're seeing here. If you have it as a six, then it will expand by an additional three modules. This is also a WeCan bar. So in other words, it's tied in with Whelan's WeCan controller. And again, there's different ones available on the website. You can go ahead and check those out, but that's what's running this right now. So I'm gonna push a couple of buttons and as usual, mess things up, but that's where the fun is. So let's turn on the back and you can see here the TA function is functioning away here. Let's move this a little bit out of the way there. I think you can see it okay, Chris. Chris, give me a thumbs up, you can see it. So then we have the split and then we have go around me. So again, that is the amber portion of the bar. Then on the uh, takedown side of things, you've got the ability to have white in this particular case is blinding to the front. Turn that off. And then you have the alley light uh, on the corner there, which you can see there. And that of course has all of the corner module area illuminated. So in this bar, you have white on the corners, left and right. And when we turn those on, let's turn off that for a second, you can see that this is red, so it's red-white combo. And then down the other side of it over here, you actually have a blue-white combo. I can turn that on, or we'll be able to in a second. There we go. And you can see that on this side of the bar. So we're kind of bouncing around a bit again, but it's a lot of fun. And let's switch it all on, and it will cycle through a variety of different flashes. So again, we have red and white to the front, and at the rear, we have got red 
amber and blue and amber to the back of the bar. So lots and lots of light flashing on. We are, by the way, going to take this outside the studio, mount it on a vehicle so you get a chance to see that as well. So this is the Whelan Legacy Light Bar. It's available here on Sirenet. So again, check out the tech specs, but you will need to give us a call when we're working out the configuration for you in relation to pricing. I'm Stuart. You're watching Sirenet Television. Oh, you thought it was finished. No, we've got an evil plan. We're going to be taking the Whelan Legacy Bar apart so you get a chance to see the inside of the bar, plus also get a chance to see, if you did need to change a lens, how to go about it. So we're going to go do that right now, and Chris is going to give me a hand. If Chris would like to come over here and give us a hand, we'll move this light bar off this stand and mount it onto this table that you're bringing in. Thanks very much. So let's grab this here. Now, one of the things about the bar that I mentioned earlier was the fact that the feet, if I turn it upside down here, that the feet are in fact uh, either loose, but, but actually they're actually of a lower profile than the standard wheel and feet that are on the normal light bars that Whelan produces, i.e. the thank you, Freedom Bar and also on the Liberty Light Bar. So you can see here, this is the standard foot, and this is the new foot that is available with this particular light bar. Let's put that over there. Now if I flip it over this way, you can see the low profile aspect of that particular foot. So let's put this down here. Let's get this cable, Chris, out of the way so we can kind of, there we go, okay. So we're gonna first of all take the the bar apart, but let me explain to you briefly about the construction of the bar. You have an aluminum top section, as you can clearly see here. Then you have an aluminum bottom section. Now this is a standard wheel and design and how they do things together, and it works very well with heat dissipation in relation to the LED product. Plus, from the days of the old edge bar, it makes their light bars virtually bulletproof or rollover proof. So again, that's something worth noting. You're buying a quality product made by Whelan. But let's go ahead and take it apart. Now the first things we're going to need to do, if I move it up this way, thanks Chris, is we're going to need to take off these two screws which are mounted underneath the end cap. Thanks. And then you'll need to take off the additional four screws on the top. And that then allows the top section to come off. We lift it up here, and as you can see here, it's a very nicely produced aluminum top piece. And then, before we do that, Chris, actually, let me just slide this over here, let the folks see. You can see here that the actual bar itself is encapsulated, not just in the aluminum shell, but also in a formed polycarbonate shell that protects the bar even more. You can see all the electric workings inside here. We'll take a closer look at those in a second. So let's go ahead and take this off. Put these down out of the way. And there's a gasket here. We're just basically separating it. Like all gaskets, it's pretty tight. There we go. <laughs> and that then takes off the top, thanks, takes off the top piece. Now again, as you can see, it's a one-piece design. And then of course it has been fluted. That's what these markings are along the the front here, and of course on the end cap. And those flutings allow the light to be dispersed when the diodes inside the reflector module come on and out goes the power. So again, that's what that's for. So let's just move it out of the way here. Now, let's take a close look inside the bar with the camera so we can kind of zoom in here. We can see the PC board. I'm not going to pull things apart, but you can basically see how it is all put together very, very neatly indeed. And you can also see here how low profile these particular reflectors are. In fact, we're actually going to quickly grab a reflector module from a Liberty Light Bar just to give an example of how low profile this bar is. Now this is the lower profile currently available on the Liberty Bar. You can see here, I'm going to put it in front of, or actually on top of, uh, the reflector module that is inside the Legacy Bar. You can see here, there really is no comparison, but you can see the actual size and the bulkiness of the Liberty unit 
versus the ultra small profile of the unit in the legacy bar. Now again, we'll get the camera to zoom in a little bit closer here, because what I'm going to do is take a look at the diode count. Let's move this out of the way, because I'll probably break it. No, it won't. I'll just drop it on the floor. So let me put it up like this here. And you can see here how, Chris, are you going to hold this for a sec? Thanks. If you want to see here, you, so this is the 12 diode unit. And Wade's getting a nice shot of that. And this is also a 12 and a 12. And this is the corner unit. And this is actually a 6 diode in this area here. And then it moves around the corner. On the back of the bar, actually, if you swing this around, I'll do it that way. Thanks. And if Wade, if you can zoom in here on this corner module here, this is actually a 6 diode module. This one here is a 6 diode module. You can see it there. I know it's confusing. You've got all the diodes. But you can see it right there. So again, this is how the bar is laid out. Very, very nice indeed. Very well built from the gang over at Whelan. We've seen it in the studio, and we are going to put it on a vehicle just now and give you a chance to see it outside in daylight. Of course, it'll be a nice sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest, so you get a chance to see it in that aspect as well. Well, we stepped outside the studio, and we're going to take a look at the Whelan Legacy light bar mounted on the roof of this LR4. Go ahead right now. Check it out, see if you enjoy in this beautiful weather here in the Pacific Northwest. Well, there you have it, a quick look, well, more or less anyway, at the new Whelan Legacy light bar. It is available here on Sirenet, so go ahead and check it out. I'm Stuart, and I will say this time, many thanks for watching.